in high school, uh, my science teachers had always encouraged me to go into engineering since I was good at math and science, but I had met a neighbor who worked at a company where he worked on designing dialysis equipment. And that was the first time I saw engineering combined with medicine, and I kind of decided at that point that that's what I wanted to do. Dr. Lorenz applied for the Langsdorf Scholarship and during the interviews met Professor Sal Sutera. I could see from the very first meeting we had as during her Langsdorf interview that she was extremely determined uh, as well as highly intelligent. And, um, and she had uh, the ambitions which were high but, but very uh, realistic. Dr. Lorenz graduated from Washington University in St. Louis in 1986 with her B.S. in mechanical engineering. It was while she was attending graduate school at Vanderbilt University that she discovered her true passion, imaging research. I was studying for my master's in mechanical engineering but I still was passionate about seeing how I could apply this to medicine so I just wandered over to the medical center and uh, knocked on doors until people talked to me. The trip to the medical center led her to pediatric cardiology. Coincidentally, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, was just taking hold around the same time. So we decided to work together to be able to, almost immediately, with small adjustments to the MR imaging, to be able to help the doctors make decisions for these kids. And so I think my whole career in imaging has been about using uh, sometimes one form of imaging, sometimes multiple forms of imaging to try to figure out how to make um, life better, easier, or safer for patients. Lorenz then returned to St. Louis to take a faculty post at the Washington University School of Medicine's Cardiovascular Division. During her tenure, Dr. Lorenz longed to make a broader impact in the healthcare industry. I had always worked closely with other companies and I thought the type of work that they did by taking the research we were doing and then translating it into machines that spread out all over the world was really fascinating. And so anyway, to make a long story short, after I got tenure at, at WashU in cardiology, I um, took a leap and moved with Siemens to London in the United Kingdom. She is currently the Vice President of Research and Clinical Collaborations at Siemens Healthcare, but this pioneer in the field of medical imaging also serves to pave the way for future engineers by giving back to the university and leading by example. Christine has done a lot of things, starting with just being a mechanical engineer, uh, because it's not the first career choice that uh, you know, girls or young women think about. Um, but you know, she did it, she took it in stride, and, uh, and then took on leadership roles that um, have traditionally been reserved for, for men. Um, and I just would like, particularly the WashU students, but also girls like my daughter in, in college and uh, in high school, to just see that uh, uh, you know, women can be mechanical engineers, they can be leaders of industry, they can uh, make technical contributions that are gonna last for a long time.